in this episode of The Y Files. A dowsing detective recounts the story of how he helped solve a murder case. And a ghost at Salmsbury Hall turns out to be insane. Do you believe that people can use dowsing to locate objects or even people? Colin Stout, who lives in the house behind me, can certainly do that. He doesn't just use the traditional method using divining rods, but uses something a little unusual and a little revolutionary. It's called astroprojected triangulation. It sounds a bit complicated, but it seems to work. And there's a lot of hard evidence in black and white print to prove some of the things that Colin has doused. Here's the story. Well, I came home from work one night and my mother said, this man who's been missing, this jogger, he's been missing now for seven days. Can you try and help him, you know, find out where he is? So I had my tea and I got my dowsing rod and I projected myself and I knew he was west of here, of this position. So it could be Radcliffe, Bolton, it could be as far as Southport. After that, you've just got the sea. So he was in this, this area. Then I astral projected myself. I had some psychometry of this man. I had a photograph, a newspaper photograph. Using that as psychometry, I projected myself to the actual spot where I thought he was. Then I used local buildings, which was all churches. There's about eight churches in the area. And I triangulated from each church, crossing and getting the angle, triangulating all the time. And I deduced that he was near the river or in the river in Springwater Park in Whitefield. Um, I said his body would be face down in water in Springwater Park. I thought really he was in a pond. That's, I didn't think he was in the river. His body was found about half a mile downstream in Radcliffe. This is not the first person I've found, so my mother specifically said, don't tell the family, tell people that would believe you. So I told the postmistress of the local post office. And I also told the press. I went to see the Press which you might feel guide office. Um, I spoke to a man. I'd never seen that man before in my life. He's called Frank Elson. I told him what I thought. And I left. I just walked out of the shop. And I, as soon as I'd gone, I presumed he, let, he did tell the police as soon as I left. Um, and I did say that his body would be found within the next three or four days and his body was found three days later. It's not the first person I've found. Everybody says, um, what a lucky guess. Did you push him in? Everything. I've heard everything he's told to me. But I'm, I'm a dowser. I've found many things in the past. There's a lot of Roman roads around here. People believe that the nearest Roman road is the, Ber the Bolton to Berry main road is actually a Roman road in Tarmac Tova. But there are lots of little Roman roads that which have never, they're not even on maps, but you can find them. The road from um, Preston to Sinister, the road behind us in Preston to Sinister, there is a Roman road there. It's not even on the maps, but I know it's there. There are other Roman roads. There are, um, what I like to find is mineral deposits, aquifers, things under the ground, springs, location work, you can even use this for finding submarines at sea. Um, all kinds of things that want to be found because I, I am not a medical dowser. The members, I'm a member of the Manchester Dowsers and most of the Manchester Dowsers are medical people in, the, in a medical environment. We are medical dowsers. I'm not. I'm just a fresh, I'm a new face in it, if you like. I'm a, a location man. I'm a, t um, a land dowser. I love the land, the topology of the land. That's my angle. Right, well, we're going to attempt a little experiment here now. Now, you um, you want my key, the key to my house, basically, yeah? Right. So, which is on a key ring with lots of other keys, so there's my, there's my front door key. So if I right. give you that, and you're going to use some psychometry on that, and right. what do we need to do now? Right. You've told me you live in the south of England. Yep. Right. I've homed on to your house. Now then, I'm at your front door now, mm -hmm. looking south. North behind me, and mm -hmm. I'll just polarise on south. Okay. 
True North behind me is just a wee old bit over. That's right. it. Now, True North is directly behind me now along the rod. Yeah. So I'm at your house looking south out of one of the doors. Now, do you know, can you actually, at your home, mm -hmm. can you, do you know where south is vaguely or roughly or...? Uh, it would be, uh, I have a door that faces west and a door that faces east. I don't have right. a door that faces south Right. So north. Well, all I ask is, is sp uh, places of, uh, of significance, not like the ice mm -hmm. cream van down the street, or something right. of sheer significance. It could be a church or a school, mm -hmm. something that cannot possibly be mistaken for anything other than that particular, that particular point, that particular thing. Okay. And what I'll try and do, it, in relation to your house looking south, Mm -hmm. Tell you where it is. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, there's a pub that's not too far. Right. Mm -hmm. Tell me the name of the pub. Uh, it's called the Steam Train. Right. I get it there, but I'll try again. Hmm. If anything, it's virtually on this level. Um, yeah, it would be, in fact. Yeah. Yes, that's true, it would. Because <laughs> yeah. right. I'm getting the reading there, and I'm getting mm -hmm. the reading behind me. So, so I'm polarising. Right. I'm polarising exactly in that position. Yeah, it would be off to the... Uh, but as I say, left. if I'm on camera, that you're asking me to do something that, that is hard. Sure. But you can understand if I was at home, in a, have a coffee, do it again, have another coffee. You gradually sort yeah. of pinpoint it even Go more. Go back the next right. day, have a coffee. Sure. And you can actually find anything in the world. Right. Even, may I say it, Lord Lucan? <laughs> right, Lord and, there's, and there's he, another story. He, he, that is do you know story. where he is? I won't say on camera, though. Ah, OK. Well, there we are. Uh, it's always difficult to do these experiments on the hoof like this, but uh, Colin was right, I have to say. It worked for me. Part 2.